But first here, a huge, huge twist for the popular and controversial media company Gawker now filing for bankruptcy protection. The move is coming three months after pro wrestler Hulk Hogan won a $140 million verdict against the company for publishing a tape of him having sex. And ABC's Lindsay Janice has more on these new developments. Overnight, Hulk Hogan's crushing legal victory over Gawker Media, forcing the company to file for bankruptcy. Just three months ago, a Florida jury awarding Hogan, whose real name is Terry Balea, $140 million, punishing Gawker for invading the former pro wrestler's privacy by publishing a tape of him having sex. Failing to pay up, Gawker Media assets, including its websites, Gawker.com, Gizmodo, and Jezebel will now be auctioned off. The company saying the sale and filing are intended to safeguard the jobs of journalists and allow Gawker Media to fund the appeal. The appeals court would need to resolve this case. Gawker maintaining its actions were protected by the First Amendment, saying even Hogan publicly discussed that sex tape. Talking about it's a lot different than having somebody illegally post the tape when you're seen naked in front of 7 million people. Shortly after news of Gawker going out of business broke, Hogan tweeted, what a beautiful day. Only good happens to me. The jury verdict in, in the Hulk Hogan case was, was extraordinary, unprecedented in many ways. It was recently revealed that PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel helped bankroll Hogan's legal costs, apparent payback after Gawker outed Thiel as gay. Overnight, Gawker CEO Nick Denton tweeting, even with his billions, Thiel will not silence our writers. Our sites will thrive under new ownership and will win in court. The Hulk Hogan Gawker case is far from over. We should expect to see lots of legal wrangling. For Good Morning America, Lindsay Janice, ABC News, New York.